Hello, everyone. Happy oh, Friday. We're we're here. Yeah, Hold we're on. here. Sorry, I I didn't know where we were at the at the moment. This is very. <laughs> I was thrown off a little bit. Well, happy Friday, everyone. Welcome back to our live stream. This is our seventh one now, right? Yep, still going strong. Still All going strong. All because you guys show up to watch, and that makes us very very happy. We have uh, Thomas making a side comment right now. He'll be playing first today. Episode 794. <laughs> Check mark. Tally marks on the wall. Oh, Let's do that. <laughs> so today we'll be playing Mercenary 2 and Pixel Ripped. Uh, Mercenary 2 is um, by a Ch China dev, which is Cougar Games. Uh, there was a Mercenary 1, but you probably have never seen it um, because it was an exclusive in China. Take it over to Ryan to talk yeah, a little bit more about uh, the game. It is super hyper like popular. You, if if you look up, if you go onto like YouTube or anything like that, and just check out the videos, um, they have like VR kiosks in the middle of their malls mm -hmm. and random places, just anywhere, and you'll just see tons of people lining up just to stand in the just to stand there and play this game. And it's really cool. It's kind of like if you remember a game by Namco Bandai called Time Crisis. It's um, it's kind of has that same type of thing. It's like procedurally moving, you're ducking, all ducking and firing, and all that cool stuff. Um, it's super high paced, and um, from what I've seen of the original, it's a lot of fun. And from what I've seen from this one, because I haven't had a chance to play it, um, it's just it's just as great. So. <laughs> yeah, I, I've always wondered, like, if you can put Time Crisis in a VR and play at the arcades, it would be awesome. And now you, you have that there, so it's great. Definitely. It's way different than a lot of, like, wave shooters that we're used to seeing. Mm -hmm. It's definitely uh, more direct. So, yeah, I guess um, when Thomas is ready, we can actually... Oh, he's ready. Uh, Watch yeah, he out. He just gave he's, a ready dance. He just dance. got super excited there. And he they don't see you yet, but when, when we go live, Thomas, I want you to show that dance again. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, so when we get all set there in just a moment, we uh, will get going. So how how's your week going, Ryan? My week is good. It's 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 Friday, which yes. is very nice. Um but it's been alright, you know, nice and smooth and got a whole lot of cool things oh. happening from there. So what about you? It's been good. Hectic hectic, have a lot of things in the pipeline for Viveport, so stay tuned for that. But other than that, you know, it's been a it's been a great, pretty great week. Have some awesome plans, and also it's the season finale of Game of Thrones, so I am ready for all you for all you folks who watch that. I'm just yeah. kidding. I stopped watching a long time ago, but that's because I'm too like one of those annoying people who like books more. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, so yeah, we he's see doing a, the dance. We see Thomas. Thomas is trying really hard to floss, but I think once you hit a certain age, you just can't do it anymore. I thought I taught you how to floss, Thomas. <laughs> I thought I taught you how to floss. So. Alright, so we're <laughs> gonna have to get another dance game going at some point. You guys can just floss your day away. Um, but yeah, so here we are. We are in the... I, I actually... One thing you guys are really gonna notice is this game is super pretty once you get in. Um, it's definitely one of the best, like, like, visually appealing games that I've seen in VR for a long time. There's tons of them, but this one definitely pushes it. And if Thomas picks anything other than hard, he's off the show. We just won't tell him that right now. Pick hard. Come on. No. All right, fine. Okay. All right, we'll give you medium, only because you haven't played yet. <laughs> hard mode only on this show. Yeah, so we, I, I would agree. We go all the way or we don't go at all. Just remember not to drop your gun, Thomas. I know. I think you're the only one who hasn't. No, you oh. have. Oh, he that has. car crash. His sound effects kind of sound like um, you know the team of the, the studio team is probably just throwing plates oh, yeah, everywhere. <laughs> plates hit, hitting them with hammers and yeah. All right. And it now oh. Grant, this rescue operation. His is name is Grant. Years. Oh, he's talking to Grant. His name is Hugh. Yeah, go ahead and just get to the shooting. Hugh is talking to Grant right now. Okay, so if you uh, hold down the trigger, you can probably just skip all the storyline. Yeah, which is really not, I love when developers let you do that. I know, so the option past. is necessary. It's like, we don't need this. <laughs> I just want to shoot stuff. Wow, it is really pretty. Yeah, it, it's, you know, it's for, for all the movement that you're going to be doing in this game uh -huh. and all that kind of stuff, it's the environments and everything are almost as good as like a static 
room game, like a pre-rendered mm -hmm. room and stuff. I'm really digging the, the rain on the window. It's a nice touch. Yeah, their water effects are great. Yeah. It reminds me of those old, like, uh, and, and in the U.S. they don't do it as well, mm -hmm. but with a lot of the Asian cinema, when it comes to something that looks kind of cyberpunky, like, they always have a really cool, like, water effect, uh -huh. um, both digitally and, like, practically, yeah. so it looks really Did you get cool. Message? It really I adds certain aesthetic to, like, the environment. Yes. We have to move now! Lock and load. Lock and load, oh. Thomas. Imagine if you didn't catch that. <laughs> he would. I. I wonder if they would have like gone to anywhere where his hands were. Probably. <laughs> that would have been funny. He drops it. Over. Oh. That was from the immediate. Car. Take the overpass to the opposite building. Did Jason you, will wait, cover you from below. Your name is Carl. Oh, no. I thought you're. Oh, I'm so confused. I wonder if you have different guns here. Yeah, there are different guns. Oh my gosh, it looks so, it looks so nice. Oh wow, yeah, the graphics, amazing. Okay, this looks like it can get quite sweaty. He's in getting there. into it. Look yeah. at him go. <laughs> I'm, I'm so worried about that cable behind him. <laughs> oh, total, total wave, synth wave music. I am, I'm in love with this. Oh wow. Get okay, him. I'm, Get him. I'm glad he didn't start with hard because this seems kind of a, a lot going on already. Yeah. It's a, I like it because you have to look at everything. It's, it's like, not just it's in real. front of you. Yeah. yeah. And the fact that he's like on the ground. So if anybody ever asks, does this game need room scale? The answer is yes. Or else you're going to hit everything around you. <laughs> oh, oh, new oh. gun. Okay, so you don't really need to reload, right? Or is that the bar over there? I thought that size hand. Is that like that's just a little HP, right? Yeah, it doesn't look like that. Uh, oh, well, is he, he taking so he does any actually, damage? He is ammoing down, so uh -huh. he did have to reload. I can't tell. Oh, he is. He has taken some damage. Oh, now he's doubled. Watch out. Oh. Oh. Oh, they got him. Wow, that graphic. So did you die or? Oh no. That one, <laughs> that one graphic. Sorry. <laughs> oh, this is total like cyberpunk. I love this. How do you know if you're taking damage? Uh, the screen. Uh, so the, you see the, the red uh -huh. on the side oh, there. Oh, okay, I see. So that it's just it's a common way in games to let you know that you're hurt. Mm -hmm. Man, that detail is so good. I know, I love it. No one can escape. Especially Thomas, because he's tethered to the computer. Okay, so it looks like the um, local motion here is just like it takes you into different scenes. You don't really, yeah. you really stay yeah, still. Yeah, it's definitely like, like I said, it definitely is a wave shooter. Mm -hmm. But it's so different than any of the other normal wave shooters we see. Because you, you know, it's all the movement you have to make. I'm totally getting some uh, Ready Player One vibes here. Yeah, you could almost say that. Yeah. It like the future like where the like the Oasis. advertising is like in holographics. Yeah. I've always loved that. Me too. Oh, he's got, he's got the, oh, get him. There we go. It's like a big desert eagle. They're just firing <laughs> it at everything. So are these like robots? Yeah. Okay. That's why they all explode when you shoot them and they have like electricity and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But I like, the one thing I'm really liking about this is just how fast paced it is. Yeah. And it's not in front of you, it's a total 360 like oh shootout. My goodness. I'm really curious what hard level is. Oh man, how this is. Oh yeah. look, he's crossed. Is he crossed enough? Does it cross actually? Oh, it looked like he crossed up. He's getting very close to that to that wall. So for those of you who didn't just hear, uh, Thomas is getting very tired over here, and he has uh, he has at least ten more minutes of this game going. So that's definitely another Friday where you'll be working out at the same time. See, I'm starting to feel left out of that. You got to do dance collider workout. He's doing this, so I'm gonna have to find something crazy for for the next episode. I know, I know. Pixel rip design, not exactly. That's maybe a brain workout, I would say. Yeah, but pixel rip though is a lot. Of Mm -hmm. it, goes, it goes back to my favorite time, but we'll talk about that later. Well, you guys will talk about that later. I'll be busy. 
playing retro games called the world ball. What do you think? There, is there a strategy behind this? What would yours be? Duck and cover and shoot stuff. That's about it. <laughs> we need a five branded step counter. <laughs> that would actually be fun. You know what I really appreciate? Maybe they have this in the easier level, but you know, usually when you do these kind of games, they have like an arrow pointing, okay, so now the horde is coming behind you or yeah. to the left of you, but this is actually pretty real. Like, this is gonna happen. This is what you'll well, they, see. There's no like warning. You, they do give you some indication that usually if you look at the bullets, they all have a trail. Mm -hmm. So you can get an idea of which direction they're coming from based off the trail. It doesn't look like they hit you their first few shots. Uh huh. So I think that that might be the alternative. Uh, oh wow, an arrow. those are the, the, did you see those? They were like, what do you call those? Uh, spiders, spider yeah. aliens, spider robots. Now he's in a laundromat. I would hate to be doing my laundry right now. You know what this game also reminds me of? Hmm. Uh, Atex Cybernetic. Yeah. It's kind of similar, kind of that style. I like the I like the sign that keeps changing in the background. No one can escape. Look at look at all that damage that Thomas is taking here. I know. What's... But he's still trucking along oh. though. Oh, now he's in another part of the laundromat. Need your target, Thomas. Need your target. Oh, that was good. Yeah. Okay, his HP is really really low. Yeah, he's, he's, he's got a lot of red in the screen uh -huh. there. You got some red on you. It's no, right. I don't. I don't see any green in his bar anymore. Oh, it's like orange. Yeah, it's red. yeah. <laughs> so if you can hear Thomas having a heart attack over there in the corner. <laughs> this is. Oh, I guess the battle's going outside. Oh, he's in the warehouse or the backside. I've never seen a laundromat have a back warehouse. I don't know, it might be that whole San Francisco shared space that you see pretty often. Yeah, possibly. They're running two different businesses there. Don't want to know what's going on in the back, just want my laundry done. That's it. <laughs> hey, what's up, True Rex? How are you doing? Hey! Yeah, this game is, is awesome. True Rex, part of the, uh, the, the Tribe XR community. Oh, hi. It has does some great sets. You could always check them out on the tribe uh, tribe channel when they uh, when they on. Plenty of other great artists. Or, or, yeah, that would be nice. You are spending. Them. I wonder if they, they ever give you like a shield or anything where you're just supposed to take all these shots until you die. No, I, I I definitely feel like this is like a total art like arcade style game. Uh -huh. where you are just pushing in. Yeah. And you go until. You're, you're, you run out. Although Time Crisis, you were able to pick up some health mm -hmm. at some point. Yeah, there should be some health. I love this music. This music is so, so 80s. Mm -hmm. I love it. It's like getting me in the mood to like kill some <laughs> robots. Well, that that's a good thing. <laughs> that's, what's in, that's what this game does. But yeah, and this game just launched, what was it, yesterday? Today? Oh, you can teleport now. Or maybe it, he was no, it launched uh, a week, couple weeks ago. Oh, did it? Yeah, but it's it's fairly new. Yeah. I think the last time we were busy trying to figure out what we were going to play last week, so... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> um... And all that fun stuff. This game is not yet an Infinity, um, for everyone that wants to know, but we are currently having a weekend deal, so if all Infinity members get 50% off, um, and then all Viport users will also get 25% um, off. And if you've never uh, given Infinity a shot, you can definitely start your free trial, get that discount, um, and you know, play Mercenary 2 as well as um, all the games in Infinity. So give it a shot. What's the uh, what's the the discount for Infinity? Maybe I missed what you're saying. I was too into this. Oh yeah, it's 50% off if you're an Infin Infinity member, and you get to keep this game forever. Mm -hmm. yes. And Correct there, if you get a wireless adapter, you get two months for free. Yes. For provide for it. So much fun stuff in there and a lot of discounts. Mm -hmm. So when you do see titles that you really, really love and they're purchasable and you can always pick them up and there's discounts for all the weekend and various weekends and stuff. So. Oh that was neat. You see the whole part of the wall. Oh. 
See, I like that because that adds a whole new dynamic. Right? Mm -hmm. Well, at least he has shelter now. Yeah. <laughs> Before he was just like open. But it definitely seems like it's gotten a lot more frantic really fast. So he's definitely doing a lot more having to duck and cover. He's trying to sh There he goes. It would be awesome if they had like a matrix mode where everything just slows down and he's just like oh, yeah, just have, dodging the bullet. Have bullet time. <laughs> I mean, he could still try it now if he wants, but I think. Oh, that was a good one. Down. I just, I like, and this is one of the things I really like about VR as well. When you're playing, um, you know, a shooter with, with guns in general, mm -hmm. when you're firing, it really only fires one direction, right? Straight up, even if you turn it down sideways or whatever. The game always perceives the gun as up. What's cool about VR is like you can see Thomas is like angling the guns around and mm -hmm. moving them around. Oh, does this this does this one angle as he yeah, angles? So Thomas oh, can nice. really turn his hand sideways if you want. Mm -hmm. He can cross up if he feels like it. I mean he's got the good angle sideways. He's really got that teleporting down though. Yeah. Like, he, he's on it. One thing I also like too in here, um, a lot of wave shooters, when the um, when the enemies come at you, oh. they typically stay in. This <laughs> What's going on? Uh oh. When when they typically stay in this, they'll almost always stay in this. Mm -hmm. What I've noticed on here is that there's definitely like a lot of actual. They're moving. They are using the space. Yeah. Q-Rex likes video. Uh, or actually likes VR shooters that you aim down the sights. So do I. And actually, you know, in here, your weapon does, you can, your, some of your weapons actually do have sights that you can point down and aim. Although I, the one thing though I've had a hard time with, still nobody seems to get sniper right. Why? In VR. It's, 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 unless you have like one of the kind of contraptions where you can actually put your computer into it. Oh, like a tracker. Kind of. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's actually hard to really Really, like, get that angle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thomas is all over the place. It's great. But yeah, I definitely recommend if you guys. Yeah, Payday VR was pretty good. I'll agree with you, True Rex. Um, yeah, but definitely, if you guys are into VR shooters, this is one to pick up and play. It's so good. It's super pretty. Mm -hmm. And we actually. It's, it can get pretty system intensive, we've learned, today while setting it up. Yeah. Um, but this is even with some of the, uh, with some of the effects down, um, overall, it's turned pretty hard out. Doom is pretty hard, but yeah, Doom is pretty bad with the teleport. I think Doom is great. It just, it moved way too fast, and it's definitely a more hectic, just shoot everything. Yeah, the teleport looks good in here for sure. I think Thomas almost died. All right, Thomas, you got about three minutes left. Let's see, let's see you do something really amazingly awesome here. It's probably one of the yo Adrian says this is probably one of the best looking VR games I've seen so far. One hundred percent. Yeah, the graphics. Oh, oh, this, this, oh. this. We might even be ending before three minutes. Oh, that guy's got a shield. Wow. <laughs> There's no way you can hide from that. Oh, he got him. Oh. That was pretty. That was pretty intense right there. Oh, he got health. Health. He's he's healing up. <laughs> yes, we need a medic, and we found one. No, nah, this game is actually really cool. Mm -hmm. I'm getting it. Getting it, no doubt. I'm really wondering how long the gameplay is. Like how many. You know, surprisingly, for this uh, for this few stages, this has been going on for almost 20 minutes. Yeah, are we still in the first stage right now? Uh, we are like maybe in the sixth. Se this oh. is like the seventh transition right mm -hmm. here. So it looks like it's a full story mode. But what's weird is the story was in the beginning. There was conversation, and now there is nothing. It's just shoot everything that's wandering around. Yeah. True Rex is all about this. I am too. It looks like Twitch is about this as well. You know what I think? There should be a, a co-op game where you can have two people. There's just there so should. much going on, you know? Someone at the other. Definitely. Oh, it's getting hectic. We're getting, we're getting some uh, weirdness going on here. Our computer. Our computer is like, I'm doing everything. What else do you want from me? 
But yeah, as you can tell, like I said, this can get pretty system intensive, so you won't want to be doing the whole, uh, you know, going into Steam VR and upping your super sampling and all that and, and creating this. Uh, is it, uh, is it just teleport or is it port pad? It is just teleport. Mm -hmm. Um, and the tracking actually is really good, so. Oh. Alright, Thomas, you got about 30 seconds. Make it count. Oh, and just try not to get shot in the head. Wow, this is a lot going on. Alright, so, so as Thomas winds down here, um, the slow mo the slowdown looked like he was dodging bullets in slow mo. It did. It's when these rockets come off the, the giant ship. Yeah, Adrian, yes. so I was saying there should be a slow-mo version where you can do some Matrix on it, and that would be so funny to watch Thomas do. Oh, mission failed. No! All right, so we're going to roll over here uh, in just a second, which that is an amazing game. I think you've convinced a lot of people that needs to be in their library. It is really fun. And as, as, as Thomas catches his breath. Um, so I will be heading off. Um, I'm going to go over and start playing some Pixel Rift when we get back. So let's go ahead and check out the uh, check out the mercenaries trailer so you guys get a cool idea. We'll flip out and Thomas will be over here in my space. So we'll talk to you guys in a little bit. That's a fun game. Uh, uh, did you mm -hmm. do you feel like you died? You feel like you died. <laughs> All right, we're well, back. Welcome back, Thomas. I'm, I am so, I am exhausted. I, I got I got sweats. a cold drink. Yeah, <laughs> I apologize. I apologize to Ryan. He's gonna now have to inherit that headset. We did wipe it down real quick between. So uh, that was a, a lot of fun. Yeah, it looked Mercenary like Two is cool. That was uh, I really was happy with the the like because they it definitely becomes a strategy as soon as they introduce the like the second area to move to because mm -hmm. then it's like. Basically, they'll kind of position around where you are, and then you, you have, like, an opportunity to kind of get away, right? So that's, I think, probably, like, people's most, like, probably with this game, right? I think the number one thing I expect to see from people is, like, saying, like, oh, I wish I could, like, move around myself and have free yeah. locomotion. But I actually think, like, I like that this is different in a way. And it, 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 I heard mm -hmm. you guys talking about time crisis and stuff because it's, 
they can kind of control more of the experience. I think the AI can probably behave in a cooler way than you would right now if you had free locomotion, I think, because yeah. they can kind of position themselves around, like, obstacles and cover and kind of react more smartly to you because you're kind of defined in those couple positions. Yeah, I um, mean, I, it, it, was cool. it probably will get way too hectic if you can control everywhere you go, right? Yeah. <laughs> How long was I, was, was it right about the right time, or was I, like, was it 20 minutes or something? That was, like, 20, 25 minutes. Um, you look like you got a good workout. And I like did. No, it was good. Um, there's a question. There's a question to me about being uh, if I got dizzy in movement. Actually, no, no, not at all. I think um, I think the fact that I wasn't at the same time kind of like, you know, I was doing these like really easy transitions between where I was going next, and and even when I like slid between like point one to point two when I when they introduced that, like I didn't feel dizzy or motion sick or anything at all. I think they handled that really well. Nice. Um, I mean, I, I do have pretty good VR legs at this point, but um, <laughs> I, I definitely think anyone, we, you know, might sit differently for you, but I think, Jenna, I think it seems like they did a really good job with it. Yeah, I mean, if I didn't say it enough, the graphics are amazing. Yeah, we actually turned them down a little bit just to make sure uh, it ran, but if you if you have a, you know, a, even a beefier uh, machine than the one that we have here, crank it, I mean, and you're not trying definitely. to do like 10 things at once, like live streaming um, and recording software and stuff like that, then you, sh you should be all set um, to crank it up. So like it looked even good even when we turned it down a little bit. Nice. Oh, hey there. I'm really cool. Thank you. Thanks, Papa Bear. <laughs> <laughs> well, someone said I look like John Wick, which I'll take as a compliment. Well, Nathan said that. That's, I'll take that as a, as a compliment. That's, that's a pretty cool. good com compliment, cool. yeah, actually. I love those movies. <laughs> yeah, he's he's great. Um, and the movie just came out, right, today? Or it's coming out today? Oh, the yeah, newest, like yeah, the newest one. one. Cool. But, and also, uh, an update yeah. on movies. Robert Pattinson <laughs> is the new Batman. Nice. Really? <laughs> <laughs> if, uh, if you didn't need, need to know that, well, now you know now it, you unfortunately. Know. You, you heard it from me first. There you go. Um, spoilers. Um, all right, let's, let's, uh, instead of looking at our faces and me being sweaty, let's uh, start looking at the, the game here in question or talk let's about it a little bit. Let's do it. So what, what is Ryan playing? Pixel Ripped by Arvor. Pixel Rip 1989, I think, mm -hmm. right? Is the official name. Um, oh, and he's going right into it. So this is from the developer of War. Um, I believe they're from uh, Brazil, which is awesome. Um, and uh, it's essentially about like, it's a huge nostalgia trip for the most part about going back to uh, essentially 1989 and uh, trying to sneak it playing um, in your, uh, essentially it's like, basically it's a Game Boy, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, and like playing it in class and avoiding the teacher. It's, it's one of my favorites. Um, it's on uh, Vipor Infinity. Uh, it's a lot of fun. And it's very different. I don't think I've ever seen um, essentially anyone else try to do what they've done. Mm -hmm. right. What I call it, it's called Gameception. Oh, because you're like, you're a game within a game? <laughs> VRception. It, it is a little bit like that. Like, yeah. how deep, now they what they need is like in this, so you're, you're in and VR, then and then you play a game, and then there's like another game inside. Then, then you're, then you're like triple. And then you have to plant an idea, an original idea, and then you have to come back. So basically the entire storyline of the Yeah, exactly. Yes, let's yeah. do that. <laughs> I think that I think someone should make that VR game. Question is that a power glove? I have no idea. It doesn't it could be. <laughs> that that's probably before my time. I'm not gonna this is 1989. I'm gonna say I was born. I will admit I was born after 1989. But I, I same. But I will say that I've done exactly this, and um, I remember in ninth grade uh, uh, chem class is um, all our friends. We had the DS, and we were playing. Um, Wait, Tetris did you just say together. D? Okay, was that your first handheld? Was the DS? Uh, no, no, it wasn't. But that okay. was when it just first was sure. popular in ninth grade, and we were all just playing in class under our backpacks really reminiscent of that. Cool. I did, so my first handheld was Game Boy Color. Mm -hmm. And then I was like all about uh, Pokemon. Of like, course. Yeah, that was like the rage when I was like in elementary school. Yeah. So uh, I love it. He's sitting there with his controller. He's like in front of a count console in like a very pixel universe. It's basically like he got dropped off and I like, they're even using like that green tone. Uh -huh. It's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> that like really, unsettling green brown gray <laughs> unsettling <laughs> a, now i just remember like having to like try to use street lamps to like see when uh -huh. driving yeah, yeah, yeah. like in order to play now we're all fancy with our backlit screens and everything oh. technology man ah! and that was a 2d <laughs> did you like the explosion yeah. it's like a goblin on a dragon 
is that goblin named Danny? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. We definitely can't. Episode. We definitely can't talk about probably any Game everyone's of spoilers. like shutting off. Now. I know, like <laughs> our viewer count dropped completely <laughs> as far as <laughs> your time has come to use your powers. So this is like the wizard. Yeah. Can you, uh, Nicola? Nicola Green. Hours of gaming. Whoa. That is a long time. Oh, they're in a classroom right now. See, mm -hmm. this is the, yeah, and this is the transition because I think you go to the classroom. Hey, True Rec. Thank you for staying. <laughs> With the wing face. I love it. <laughs> oh, yep. Okay, this is when he's flying out now. Yep, here we go. That ah! upload time. Yep. He's going into the real world. So this is, uh, he's getting pulled out of his dream. Uh-huh. <laughs> from his, he, his, he, what's it called? The kickback? When they have to fall back. When they, for his inception. He's coming out <laughs> okay, of the dream. Okay, I, I, I'm, I'm gonna, con I'm continuing that metaphor the okay. whole time. Just like, for, forever. For this dream. And... This is like so the 2000s kind of where like whenever you're going, um, whenever a person go going into like the computer graphic, oh, yeah, world, yeah, it's yeah, all yeah, just yeah, like yeah. a, a Tron, blank like Tron thing. Yeah. kind of thing. Yep. Yep. This is Pixel Rip. Pixel Rip, uh, 1989. So now, now there's a now the wizard's talking to him from the screen. Oh, now the screen's all messed up. Bug Riders. I, so this is like this is like the inception hole as he's going up and classroom. Oh. Wow, that's and it a, is a it is a, a wild out of control <laughs> classroom. Yeah. So there's a lot happening here because he's like there's like narrative and stuff happening now on the game console, but now it, it's like in this whole like and then there's the classroom setting. So this this is the whole game within a game. Mm -hmm. So now like. They're actually controlling the jumping around on the console. That game is amazing. My older brother has a copy. <laughs> nice try. That was pretty close. I don't know what like accent they were doing, but it was awesome. I'm pretty sure that was like a London or yeah. UK. Oh, look, they're all crowding oh. around. That's oh yeah. <laughs> He's like, uh, Get you're, away. The, you're the cool yeah. guy in so, class. As he's uh, the main goal in the handheld, mm -hmm. it's kind of hard to see as we're bouncing around but like you're collecting pixels and yeah. your character actually gets more defined as you collect pixels so he was like a single pixel before okay and now as he's collecting he's becoming a more defined character oh yeah look now he's, yeah. Uh, he's getting more like he's, powers ryan is showing oh see now oh, he got no, he got he got back to a pixel oh no i don't believe you can walk around i think here is um you sit here and you try to hide once the teacher sees you um, yeah so i think there's like techniques where once the teacher comes in um that you have to start essentially like that's when you have to start distracting her and you're creating mm -hmm. enough lead, like oh, time right oh yeah she's right there I, yeah she says shut up and sit down yeah she's a, oh what is did she catch you or... No, I don't think so. I think she's, uh... I think he got into the... Oh, yeah. Look at the Zelda references here. Yeah. I love it. He still has his power glove oh. on the left hand. So I think uh, because he won something, this is now happening in... Uh, in the real world. Oh yeah, he got the. I got that before. It's the um, spitball. So oh, he can, he can oh, yeah, use that could, now to help okay. distract. Okay. Oh, so she turned on the projector, and I think they drew her face. <laughs> oh, he just hit her in the head. So now he's. Yeah, that's right. So he's. Oh, so just, she's like disoriented. Yeah. I think if you like hit like the if you hit the um astron like the astronomy solar system in the oh. top, she. Reminds me of the teacher and Matilda. <laughs> <laughs> Just where it's like a caricaturely like bad. Yeah. Yeah, I love this is accurately mirroring my middle school experience. <laughs> <laughs> Taking me back. Yep. 
Okay. Oh, and he's. I didn't even realize he's still trying to like. He's. He is. He's actually doing a pretty, fairly good job playing at the same time right now. He is making progress. <laughs> What's up, invisible protest sniper? Yeah. Did I pronounce that right? Invisible pro pro yeah protus invisible protus sniper. I think. I don't know what protus means. So. They're um. Protus is like from StarCraft, I'm pretty sure. Oh, well. But I not I've, never, a... I've never been a huge StarCraft person, but I'm pretty sure that's a faction from StarCraft. But uh, let me know if that's oh. wrong, chat. <laughs> she's scary. Oh, she's like right there. Oh! Okay, shoot. Uh, I don't know. Oh, I think I think it's teaching him now. Shoot. Wait, okay. Shoot to distract teacher. I wonder how that would distract her. Doesn't that just draw attention to I like the edgy you? sketch. <laughs> oh. I think it's because, like, she's dealing with your cleanup and stuff. The Dark Templar from StarCraft. So you I was right about right. StarCraft. All right. Cool. I, I don't have to give up my gamer card for the day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really a huge yeah. follower of anything Star Blank. Look, know your <laughs> meme. Apparently, you don't know the meme. Educate me, please. Yeah, you'll have to go back and get that link. Um, so uh, we'll see if uh, Ryan gets far enough in it. Um, but uh, there is a point where like the game comes out into the classroom, and then mm -hmm. it kind of expands into like a whole platforming section in the classroom, like using materials from the classroom. How far so, have you gotten? Uh, that's essentially like completes the whole first level. So mm -hmm. I've gotten. Um, I went a little bit after that. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty neat because it's like you're jumping on like the okay. like scissors uh -huh. and like the books, and it's like it comes out in front of you. It's pretty cool. Oh yeah, there you go. You know, this is like a nice transition, right? Once you're, you know, exhausted, tired from playing Mercenary 2, you just like sit back down and yeah. play this one. <laughs> well, for like, because Mercenary is basically like, it has room scale, right? And you have yeah. like your box to be able to dodge around and stuff, but it isn't like a full room because you're kind of like yeah. more stationary, right? In that spot. But it's not sitting either, obviously. Yeah. I mean, you, you just um, can't have but things it's plenty, around yeah. you. But it's, yeah. plenty of, uh, it's plenty of a workout. I will. You're still sweating. <laughs> Sorry. Well, this happened when you did uh, was a dance collider last week. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. On pro, but you were you were ballsy and did the whole hard hard difficulty as opposed to I I wimped down to medium and I but I was glad because I lasted most of the time and then yeah, I finally that, failed. I can't imagine how the Lilith. hard would be. Oh, what is that? Uh, I don't know what he did to pull that one up. Oh, it's like augmented reality because there's the. Oh yeah, I think so. It's interesting. Wait, it, must everyone, be, it must be stuck to his vision. Everyone's in VR right now. Look. Oh, are they wearing like headsets? Yeah. Oh yeah, they they have like go on their heads. Oh, she does too. The teacher. So yeah. it's like a distraction thing. Oh nice. I haven't done that one before. Maybe it's like different events. It can be different things. Maybe. Uh oh, there was a question in chat about changing uh cartridges and like there's different games. Um, I never got as far um to do that, but I do kind of agree with what um. Other people in chat said like you can the game kind of changes as, as you play it um that kind of way but yeah as far as i know there's no way to like actually take out the the current game in there um for something else because i think that's kind of the it's like the main driver of the plot is like beating that as you're getting distracted with all the classroom activities yeah that's like what actually progresses you is like your progress in the handheld game mm -hmm. oh he fell There you go. Oh, yeah. So you're getting adding the pixels. Okay. I'm. I think Ryan is the perfect one to play this because I am not nearly as good at platformers that he just just showed off his his skills. Oh, he fell off the cloud. Get back on the cloud. Teacher's <laughs> right behind you. <laughs> that would be. <laughs> she's like, hello. <laughs> hello, puppet. Uh, he's trying to hit the trash. I think. It must be. Oh, oh nicely done. Nice. Oh, wait, who are those? Who did that kid just came in the classroom and just fell all over the place? Oh, she was outside. I think he was uh, cutting class. Oh. Oh. And he got thrown thrown out the window. <laughs> so this is like this Matilda. is like a this is like a crazy <laughs> classroom. Um. This is crazy. I think there's like one. There's like two kids who's still trying to work really hard. Those are like gonna be the Valvatorians. <laughs> <laughs> 
However, the person who's playing this will probably end up working at a VR company, and they'll probably work at like some insurance company. So yeah. So, not not hating on anyone if you're in the insurance business. <laughs> Good luck to you. <laughs> um, yeah, the multi. I think that is kind of the main. Oh, look, you got the checkpoint with the flag. Uh huh. Um, so it's like, yeah, multitasking. I think the that was what I when I was playing this oh. is kind of the most. Oh, he just. Oh, good thing you yeah. just got the checkpoint. Do, do, do. Oh, that was like a hard jump. He has one of those that you have to wait to the very end. Mm -hmm. Please help my brother. Laser oh, upgrade. Run. See, I like that. Like, there's enough variation and stuff that keeps things interesting as you keep going. Now he's really into the game though, yeah. and he hasn't looked up. So now I'm worried about where the teacher's coming. They do give you like um, audio cues, right, when she's coming. Yeah, I'm assuming that there's a little bit of a hint, like the system that you learn to hear for. Ooh, bonus area. Oh, oh. whoa! Yep, that was the. the I think that was the alert. Shoot the clock. I think that means you got caught. Yeah, so I think did. you probably have like two or like another couple of lives or something. Oh, does it say like right there? That... Oh, yeah, because there's like. Oh, yeah, he has one life yeah. left. See, he has to get all the way. You see, like mm -hmm. there's like the boss thing, so it's like different stages. So this is still level one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's like seven things part of level one. Yeah, so it's pretty pretty meaty experience mm -hmm. as far as uh, giving you a lot, a got lot to play. I think it's like if you know what you're doing and go really fast and you're not failing and stuff, I think it's like, you know, at least three, four hours or something like that. Don't quote me. Um, since I myself haven't been there, but I know it's a decently long experience. Uh -huh. I'm not sure, a question from chat of as far as like the exact number of different, like, like this is level one and how many stages. I'm not quite sure how many. I'm assuming at least three. Um, it's probably more than that, but. Arturo. I really like that name. That's a cool name, Arturo. I have a friend named Artur, but not Arturo. So. Really? Yeah. I feel like Ar Artur. Yeah. I've never heard that one before. He is a uh, Armenian. So. That's cool. Do they like VR? I don't know. I don't. I've never actually had this conversation. I think with you them, need to uh, sure do that. Anyone <laughs> that has will or is willing to try or has tried VR thinks it's pretty awesome. Exactly. Seeing is believing when it comes. Right? That's yeah, why we exactly. do these streams. <laughs> That's why you have like <laughs> MR videos, right? Yeah, which we're trying to do yeah. even more of. Mm -hmm. um, I think we have a couple cool MR trailers. Hopefully coming out pretty soon. Nice. What are they? <laughs> no, I'm not gonna spoil anything. <laughs> oh, those, so those platforms there blow up after he. Uh, uh -huh. I think this has happened a couple of times. Oh, checkpoint. Good. No. Oh! oh no! Oh, he's were... look how far he actually pretty far yeah. now. He was zooming. Oh, so they don't make you start all over again. No, you gotta right? hit that. Okay. You gotta hit the flag, mm -hmm. and then that's your checkpoint. And today I'm going to tell you about the most wonderful man in British history. Oh, did you hear that? Yeah. I'm gonna tell you about the most wonderful man in British history. I would I didn't know who it was though. Trump this is kind of inception. Uh -huh. like, oh this is this the is, this is the triple. This is even yeah. more inception. Yeah, this is right like now. I'm in VR yeah. wearing a VR headset playing this game. Which I think they're pretty clever there. I'm excited to see what other um, VR experiences the developers are going to do. Because I, I never saw this in headset. I'm uh -huh. really curious what his view like is. Because, like, is is he seen only through that frame? Like, is he actually seeing the virtual part? Or is he seeing it where how we see it with, like, the split? I don't remember. Oh! that Like, he's on the bounce pad. Oh! Oh! Okay, let's, let's make it to the end, right? We want to see that yeah. boss. We want to see that boss. I don't know how much time we have act lot, actually. Let us know if we need to, where we're at. Oh. Okay. Doing good, doing good, doing good, doing good. Doing good. This classroom is like totally empty. I know. 
<laughs> oh, it's uh, it's Henry the something. Which one? Oh, I think. Did we, did we get to the I boss? I think I think he got to the boss. Do, 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 do. I love those like the button, the ding, 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 the collecting the the coin sounds so reminiscent. That like. Yeah 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 yeah. That, the little button sound. This is a, they do a really good job with the um sound. It's like so. It's like so nostalgic. Hey so there, who is, who is the Lush. Hey. Who is uh? Can you see the boss's name? Uh, oh, the Cyb the, the letters just came and flew out. Yeah. Oh, see, so yeah, I think this is one of. The, yep. Dramatic. <laughs> Cut out. Whoa! Ooh. And then the sprites come out, yeah? <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Oh, floor is lava! <laughs> Alright, Ryan, you have five minutes to defeat the boss. Can you do it? Yeah, so this is the part where it gets crazy. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And it's a lot of fun. At least you don't have to like worry about the teacher at this point because she's like drowning in lava somewhere. <laughs> everyone, everyone <laughs> in the classroom is dead. <laughs> so oh, now, he's now he's do? controlling controlling the character. So now it's a platforming section around all uh -huh. the the. The things in the oh, oh so okay, I see. Just got and it's the same premise, so he's like a pixel now. Oh, oh fell in the oh. lava. That's pretty bad. Okay, come back. Okay, yeah. So using that. There Excuse you go. Me. Oh. oh no! It's a little tricky because of the perspective, because it's not like two D. Like you like have to think of it a little bit. Cause you're like coming in from the side. Uh -huh. oh. 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 It seems like the, the jump went straight down. Do you have to get like a head running start? Look, he like stood up. He's like, I'm. <laughs> He's like, this is serious time. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You ever see those memes where it's like, it's like gamer and it's like normal, normal gamer. Uh -huh. Sorry, you probably can't hear me if I do that. So like, sit back and then they're like, like ready to go. <laughs> like that, like. You know, jump into it, into it, leaning forward. Okay. Yep. Yep. No. Oh, watch the scissors. <laughs> See the battery eight to make to zero. What are those bubbles? Like, can you go oh. into one and it floats off? Yes, I think okay. that's exactly what happens. Okay, oh. 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 Oh, ah! oh, watch the scissors. Good job, good job, good job. I think you might just have to pop him with the... Yeah, I think you might have to just pop him. Watch out. Oh, pop, yep. Yeah. Pop the guy robot first in the bubble. Pop up. Also, I think you should just pop the sorcerer guy, probably. Oh, you oh. can shoot him with your thing. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. wow. Yep, get your pixels back. There you go. Where do you, where do you end up? He's right there. Oh, okay. But yeah. You can also shoot the gun, which is great. Okay, now he's on stapler. Some serious hand eye or uh, oh. coordination going on. This is on like, here. yeah, this is a lot. Oh! Wait. No! No! <laughs> Come on, Ryan, you can do All right, it. You have like probably like two, you have like two more tries. Got two minutes. Yeah, two minutes. This. We believe in you. Yeah, it's, it's really frantic, but also. I don't know, maybe if you shoot the guy out of the bubble, just in the lower part, like he will help you or something. There we go. He's, he's going faster as he's yeah. going back through it. Oh. oh, turned back into a square. Oh, oh that was, that was, that was lucky. Them. All the all the <laughs> um all the bubbles came back too. 
yeah, it's very frantic. It's like there's so much going on to you from like yeah. a commenting, uh -huh. commenting standpoint. You're like, ah. That's quite creative, though. No, the this map. Is, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like, I think it's just like, like I can't imagine like how much fun it would have been to be like a designer, uh -huh, um, uh -huh. right? Like building these different levels and then like thinking about like, okay, the stapler is gonna be like my rebrand. Like, yeah, I don't know, the scissors. That's, that's like, yeah, like, that's fun. Mm -hmm. Like you probably, in my head, I think that they're um, like. Probably photogram it, like use photogram it. She like bring oh, probably yeah. one from the office, like into it or something. That's what I would do uh -huh. as someone who can't 3D model. <laughs> like just like scan a skin, just get a stapler in there. Thanks, True Rex. Oh, see, he's happy. Oh yeah, thanks, True Rex. Have a great day. Have a good rest of your uh, weekend. Is that guy like heading out? See you. He's like talking. See you later. Oh, he's like, he's like, big bye. head. He called you big head. He's like, this is taking too long. I'm checking out. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, we're 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 about at time. So I think uh, if if we get another game over here, Ryan, I think that's I think that's it. Make this your best one. Man, these were both, these are great games. Yeah. Pixel Ripped and uh, Mercenary. I love it. That's awesome. We've been doing really cool and interesting stuff, I think, generally every week. Yeah, I think we like, have something cool to yeah. install for the, in the next two weeks, too, so it's yeah. gonna be really exciting. It like, um, it's just funny because, like, so, like, Pixel Ripped, I probably haven't played it in like a year now, mm -hmm. too. Um, and now I'm like, this is what I want to do this weekend. <laughs> it like remind, like it's kind of like uh, these gems that yeah. I like haven't thought about. I think because um, the games are coming out so quickly. I know, you, like it's you, really like, cool to see. All yeah, the, like, older cool ones, but you know the VR audience is fairly still new, so like oh yeah, we need so to like we, we know that, that yeah, hey, there's tons are... of new people. Yep. And he got to it, I think. Yay! I missed it though. Wait, or is he dead? Oh, level clear. Nice. Got it. What a way to end the stream. Woo! All right, everyone. You Look, can it's get... telling us that we haven't oh, yeah. we haven't consumed enough water. <laughs> I am quite thirsty. Um, yeah. As I was saying, you can get uh, Pixel Ripped and Five Port Infinity yeah. today. Uh, yeah. You can also get Mercenary Two with a. Uh, it's a weekend a, deal right now. It's yeah. a weekend deal, yeah, yeah. So you can get it at fifty percent off if you are an Infinity member, or twenty five percent off if you are not. But if you've never started a free trial, you can you know go ahead and um, click that free trial button, um, purchase purchase Mercenary Two at fifty percent off, and then also jump into Pixel Rift. So good job, two Ryan. Awesome games. You did you did well. Thank you for giving us that clear right at the end there. That yeah, was awesome. that was awesome. Um. Yep. <laughs> You're tired, Udo. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, that was that was really impressive. As, mm -hmm. like, you were killing the the Game Boy experience. It, it was a little tricky, right, when you went to the 3D. Yeah, it was definitely a lot harder than I thought it would be. Yeah. Um. Cool. Well, uh, any any last things before we head on out? Um, check out the Weekend Deal, uh, Mercenary Two, Pixel mm -hmm. Rip Infinity. Um, and yeah, that about does it. And for Check, all you uh, uh, Game of Thrones fan fans, yeah. Sunday is going to be sick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Um, all right. Well, I think we're out of here. Let's go get yeah. some lunch. <laughs> Have a great weekend. Yep. Well, Thanks, everybody. Take yourself with that infernal light box to the headmasters at once!